By the end of this video, you will be able to create a unique word search puzzle using free resources. You can choose to create these puzzles for fun, or you can make a collection and produce a puzzle book that you can sell online. We will be using the following online programs which are free to use. Canva.com, ilovepdf.com and Crossword Express. Crossword Express is a software program that was developed by an Australian called John Stevens. It is now an open source program, which means that you are allowed to use the software to create products that you can sell. The only thing that the creator asks is that you credit his program by adding his website address to your finished product. The program needs to be downloaded to your computer. The software uses Java to work, which you may need to install. You will receive a prompt if this is necessary. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is to download the software. Google Crossword Express or visit the website which is called crosswords.com. Click download. You may need to unzip the folder. Click the folder open. On cweinstall.jar right click and choose open with. At this point you might need to download Java before you can open Crossword Express. This is very easy. Go to java.com forward slash en forward slash download and then follow the instructions. Once the software has been downloaded you can go back to the Crossword Express folder. Click on cwe's install.jar Click on Jar Launcher, click Open, and the Crossword Express program will start to download. Once you click on the Crossword Express folder, you will see lots of folders inside. Go to crosswordexpress.jar and double click. The software is now ready to use. On the left hand side, you will see the complete list of the types of puzzles you can create using this free software. We will be creating a word search puzzle using a list of words that has already been uploaded to the program. The subject of our word search will be countries. This list contains 22 words. Scroll down to word search then click the and go button. Click build. Click Start a new puzzle. Add new file name. Click OK. Then go to Build. Click Select a dictionary. Click Country. Click OK. Click Build. Then click Start building. You have made your first word search puzzle. Go to Tasks. Click Solve puzzle and you will see the words that will be in your puzzle. Go to File, Quit Solving. Go to View, click Display Options. As we will be creating a book with just black print, we need to change all these colour options. Click on the box, which will bring up the colour options. Choose White for the background colour, MSG Highlight, and MSG background. Choose black for everything else. You can choose to change the font here if you wish or you can leave it on the default. Click OK. Go to tasks. Click print word search puzzle. This is the default print layout for your puzzle. You can adjust it in several ways. If you click on view print preview you will see what the default layout will look like. Don't worry about the jumble of words at the bottom. We will clear that up in a moment. We can go back to view print layout to change our layout. This is what we need to do to change the layout of our finished puzzle. When a box is outlined in blue, we are able to edit it. If you hover over the little blue box on the top left, you will be able to drag the box to a different position. If you hover over the little blue box at the bottom right, you can drag to adjust the size of the box. To remove a box or column, click on it to highlight and then go to remove the layout item. 
You can move to the other boxes by going to select a layout item or just by clicking on the box with your mouse. The clues columns can be left under the puzzle or you can drag it to the left or to the right of the puzzle. Every time you adjust something, check the page preview to make sure you are happy with it. Then go to view, display print preview to see how it looks. Now that we have created our first word search puzzle, it is time to export it to a PNG file. Go to Task, select Export, then change the resolution to 300 so that it prints out very well. Click Export. Save to your desktop or a folder where you can easily find it. Now that we have our first puzzle, we now need the solution to that puzzle. So go back to your puzzle, and under Select a Puzzle Layout, scroll until you find Solution. Then go to Task, click Export and save on your computer. Check to make sure that you have both the puzzle and the solution saved. Once you close down the pages that you were working on, you will be returned to the front page of the Crossword Builder. Now we know how to use Crossword Express to create a word search puzzle, to create a word search solution page. Now we need to learn how to create our own set of words for our own puzzles. We will use colours for our collection of words for our new puzzle. Type out your collection of words and save in Notepad or Text Editor. Go to Crossword Express Click Dictionary Maintenance. Go to Tasks. Create a standard dictionary. Name your dictionary. This will be the category of words you are creating. For example, this one will be called Colours. Click OK. Quit editing. You will see the name of your folder. Then go to Tasks. Import words from your text document. Click Select Import File. Check that the words have imported correctly by clicking on Edit, Edit Dictionary. If you need to delete any words, highlight and click Delete Current Word. Click File, Save and Quit. Your new dictionary is now ready for use. To create your new word search puzzle, go to Word Search, click Go, click Build, click Start a New Puzzle, add file name, click OK, go to Build, click Select a Dictionary, click Colours, click OK, click Build, click Start Building. Now you have your brand new word search puzzle with your own dictionary list. Go to Tasks, click Solve Puzzle and you will see the words that will be in your puzzle. Then repeat the process from the first part of this tutorial. So now you know how to create a word search puzzle for free using Crossword Express. You can make single page puzzles or you can create a collection and make a book that you can sell online. Find out how in my next video. Thanks for watching.